Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm back again. This time I'm coming at you with my bottom 10, the 10 worst Star Wars Black Series figures I have in my collection. Now, at this point, except for the newest wave, which coming out right now is the Luke, Tatooine, Ahsoka, and Kanan. I don't have those figures yet. I have a complete collection except for the Comic-Con exclusive Boba Fett, Jabba the Hutt, and Stormtrooper. So I don't have those, but I have the entire set of the Star Wars Black Series figures so far, sans those three figures. So I wanna do my bottom 10 figures. And this was actually kind of hard to do, because I only have three or four that I actively think are pretty bad. The rest are good, they just, I figured they could be better. Number 10 on my list is Anakin Skywalker from episode three. This came out at the very end of the phase one figures. And he's on here just because he's kind of boring. I mean, he looks pretty good, but his only accessories are an extra head, which I don't have on here. This is normal head. His extra head is honestly just kind of slightly matted and a little angrier looking, but not much. But let's get in here. And I don't have the head on me, but he comes with a lightsaber and the lightsaber hilt does come off, which is kind of neat. So if you want to, you can have the lightsaber pegged onto his belt right here. Here's the weird thing though. I mean, this is basically, this is Luke's lightsaber that he has on all of his other figures. And they all have sort of a loop that goes on the bottom of the lightsaber. And he has like a thing on his belt to hang it on. Whereas this has a nubbin and then a hole on his belt to plug it into. But it's kind of weird that for these figures, they decided to do the plug-in versus the belt clip. I think I kind of like the belt clip a little better than the plug-in. I just, and it puts an unnecessary peg uh, on the lightsaber itself. So I figure for that reason, I'm kind of docking it down a little bit. But again, this is still a pretty good figure. He's got some cloth on the sides here. He's got lots of detail. He does, at least mine has a problem standing up. He does tend to fall over randomly on the shelf. Like he'll be fine for months and then randomly I'll find him knocked over and I have no idea why. Uh, so because of all those things, he's number 10 on the list, but that does make him the best figure on this list. And here we are with number nine on the list. This is episode three, Obi-Wan, right on the tail of his partner, episode three, Anakin. Oh, what can I say about this guy? He is just even more plain and kind of boring than Anakin. Again, he's not bad, although his, his legs are a little loose on mine. I don't know if that's just mine or if it's all of them in general. But they actually released this guy twice, and that kind of bugs me. He came out before Anakin in Phase 1, and they released him again in the first wave, I believe, or second wave of Phase 2. They just recarded him. I didn't get that, so I guess I don't have a complete collection of Phase 2, barring the SDCC, because I just refused to buy the same figure twice just because he's in a different box. Because there's literally not anything different about this guy than there is on the second release of him, other than the box he comes with. But the reason he is below Anakin on this list, number nine instead of 10, so the second worst, second best figure, I guess, is that he doesn't come with any accessories other than his lightsaber. And it has the same problem as Anakin's where it, uh, well, it doesn't fit in his hand very well, first of all. You can see it kind of, it, it, it does kind of slip through his fingers easily. It's, it's pegged into his belt by a little nubbin, and I don't like that. I kind of wish he again had a little kind of hook thing just like the Luke Skywalker figures do but he doesn't come with any accessories other than that so that's why he's down down further on the list than Anakin his head sculpt is pretty good it's episode 3 uh, Obi-Wan he's pretty close to Ewan McGregor I suppose so I like looking at him standing on the shelf I just kind of wish they included some more accessories some alternate hands uh, maybe the blaster he used to blast Grievous I know he doesn't use blasters but he I mean that was pretty iconic there uh, maybe an alternate head too, maybe a robe, I don't know. There's a bunch of things that other figures have come with, like An uh, Darth Maul has a completely different head with a cape. Um, I just wish, and, and, and what's the new one? Uh, Poe, Poe Dameron has alternate hands just so he's not wearing gloves in one of them. Same thing with the original Han Solo. He's got alternate hands just so it looks like he's wearing gloves. Like they could have come out with different accessories for this guy. So I just kind of, that's what's bringing him down. And uh, yeah, so that's episode three, Obi-Wan, and number nine on the list. So number eight here, this is Poe Dameron. This is the carded release, or the boxed release, instead of the two-pack release. And he's in his X-Wing fighter gear. And the reason he's here is just because his face. Oh, let me see if I can get that face in there. 
His face, his face is awful. It just, it doesn't look, he doesn't look, he looks sad. It looks like, I don't know if it's sad or boring or something. He just, he, look, he looks like he's had his soul crushed. That's what it looks like. He's had his soul crushed. He looks like Ben Affleck just got told that nobody liked Batman vs Superman. He, he comes with a pretty good amount of accessories. He has a removable helmet, which I usually have on his, uh, in his hand there for like a Top Gun kind of thing, but it, it fits on him pretty well. He comes with alternate hands to look like he's not wearing gloves, which is a weird choice, but you know, they can do that if they want to. Uh, and then he comes with a little, a little uh, pistol. Let's move that. He comes with a little pistol that goes in his, uh, his holster there, and I like that. Uh, so there's a lot of good here, but it's just, his face sculpt is just so dour that it kind of kills the whole figure for me. He looks fine on the shelf, especially next to uh, Elo Asti, the other X-Wing pilot I've got from The Force Awakens. I just, his his face sculpt is so sad. I just, he's number, he's number eight. Sorry, sorry if you don't like it. He's there, I'm on my list. And this is my list, this isn't your list. Moving on to number seven, we've got the Jakku Finn release. And the reason that he's here, kind of twofold. His likeness is more like Tracy Morgan than it is John Boyega. His face is just a little too, I don't know, fat or wide or something. It just doesn't look much like John Boyega. He also just comes with a gun. That's it. Nothing else. And his clothes, I know this is what he wore in the movie, but his clothes are kind of boring. I also don't like his jacket here. I'm colorblind, so this might be the colorblind. But this jacket looks like a completely different color than the jacket that comes on the Poe Dameron 2-pack with the Stormtrooper. It's supposed to be the same jacket that was from the beginning of the movie and Poe loses that jacket in the TIE Fighter uh, when Finn and Poe escape. And this is supposed to be that jacket that Finn picked up, but it looks like a completely different jacket to me. That might just be me. I have no idea. Because of how plain he looks, and that, I know that's just kind of how he looks in the movie. It's a black, this is the Stormtrooper Under Armour, and he's just wearing Finn's jacket, or Poe's jacket. But lack of accessories, he looks kind of boring and the face sculpt isn't very good. So that's what brings him down on the list to uh, number seven. And we're on to number six. Number six is Yoda. I don't know if this is controversial or not. I don't know everyone's opinion on Yoda. But for me, it was a hard to swallow the $20 price tag this guy pulled. I mean, he's essentially half a figure size-wise. Uh, and at 20 bucks, I mean, come on. I know he does come with a lot of accessories, which is cool. He comes with a lightsaber. He comes with a snake to homage the original figure. He's got cloth on here, he's got his cane, he's got a little necklace thing. He looks pretty much like Yoda, but because of his size, he, his, he doesn't really have much articulation down here. His knees don't bend, his, they kind of move, they twist, but they don't bend. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cloth robe. It, it looks really frayed, but not like it's frayed because it's old. It looks frayed because it's cheap and kind of falling apart. And I'm not a big fan of that. So because of that, he's number six. He's not awful but for the price I, it's it's just I don't know if it's really worth it uh, and I kind of wish that he was just a little more articulated as maybe hard as that would have been to do I still bought him and I feel like if I mean I feel like a Yoda is pretty necessary in anyone's collection but yeah he's number six and here we are halfway through number five this is IG-88 and I hate that he's here because IG-88 is one of my favorite characters. He's only in Empire Strikes Back for a little bit. He's a bounty hunter. Uh, he's a robot. And that's, that's all those things are cool things. But this figure is just not a good figure. He does have a lot of great detail in the figure. I mean, there's a lot of sculpt going in. But because of the nature of this figure, uh, he doesn't have a lot of articulation. His legs move up like this. And then this knee does have a double joint. But because of these wires that are connecting it, I'm honestly kind of afraid of it breaking. But because these are so thin, he just doesn't stand up. I can't, I, I even have to lean him against the wall. And I kind of feel like one of his legs are a little longer than the other leg. And maybe that's just mine, maybe I got a bad one. But I even tried to dump him in hot water and straighten him out to get him a little, little firmer, but it's just, it's not working out. He does have a couple accessories real cool. He's got two guns, he's got this bandolier, he's got a vibro blade thing on the back or whatever. He's got lots of cool like head movement. Head moves his head moves like two different ways. Um, for for being what it is, it is kind of cool. I like that his arm joints have these uh, little kind of accordion 
hinges, but you can't put him in any cool poses by any means. And if you do, he's gonna fall over immediately because he doesn't stand he doesn't stand up properly when his legs are straight. So because of that, he's number five on the worst figures so far, and it it really does make me sad that he's there. Whew! And here we go. Here's number four. This is Jabba the Hutt. Obviously, if you don't know this is Jabba the Hutt, then I don't know why you're watching this. This is very clearly Jabba the Hutt. He's on here just because, again, he's he was forty bucks, and I bought him when he came out, and I because I didn't know how popular he would or wouldn't be, and I'm collecting these. I'm buying them all, so I bought him the first time I saw him on the shelf. I kind of wish I'd waited because I've seen him go down to 15, 20 bucks because he kind of sits on the shelves and no one wants to buy him. There's probably stockpiles of him everywhere because nobody really wants him because it was a $40 figure, and this is all you get. This is it. There's no extra accessories. I know the San Diego Comic-Con version came with a little throne. I think it came with a Salacious Crumb. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, but this is just this. This is what came in the box. His He does have a little gimmick where if you move his arm, his mouth opens, which is okay. He does have some articulation uh, on his hands, and he can move. Uh, oh, you can, I don't think you can move this. I think it just looks like you should be able to. But that's it. That's it. This is really boring. He, he does kind of look cool on the shelf. I have the Princess Leia figure kind of on her, like legs sitting next to him so it looks a little cooler but i don't know I, I just wish he came with something to make him more worthwhile that's all i guess he could have been better but again if you're a collector i mean that's what this whole list is about i feel like any of these figures you should buy them if you're a collector if you're trying to go for the whole set but maybe if you're not if you're just looking for the characters you like maybe think twice about some of these figures that's all and here we are with number four. And this is the aforementioned Princess Leia that I mentioned with Jabba the Hutt. And the reason she is number four on the list is she is essentially, at this point, an accessory for my Jabba the Hutt figure. She does come with two vibroblade pole staff things. Uh, I don't know why she needs two, but she's got two. Uh, but she just she doesn't look very good. Her skirt thing is falling apart. Same problem with Yoda where it's kind of, it's fraying on the sides. And I know there's a couple of people on YouTube that have released like fixes for her, but oh, look, look, her face isn't that good. I know she's a peg warmer. I know she had a lot of controversy against people saying, oh, it's Slave Leia. She shouldn't be called a slave, even though she was a slave. Uh, she is what she is. I just wish we got a good Leia. We need a good Leia. We need more female characters because there's, I mean, there's not many in Star Wars in the first place. And we deserve those, I guess. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Number four, she's a Job of the Hut accessory. That's a twenty dollar accessory. That's why she's number four. Four, three. Sorry, that's why she's number three. I don't know if I said number four. She's number three. And here we are with number two. This is Constable Zuvio, and this kind of sucks because he's actually kind of a cool looking figure. The reason he's number two is he's not in Star Wars. He is, his scenes in The Force Awakens got cut out of the movie. They're in, I guess, deleted scenes that when the DVD comes out, maybe. But he's not in the official movie. He's not in, in the released version. So he's not really in Star Wars. But he got released, uh, I'm guessing, before they decided to cut him out of the movie. Uh, but he looks cool. I like his face sculpt. I like, I like how he looks standing there. But without anything to really kind of go with him, he's number two on the list. He just... He's a shelf warmer at this point. No one really wants to buy him because no one has a connection to him. Uh, he, I guess he does kind of look a little boring. He just comes with a staff and a backpack, and he's got this weird helmet thing. And before you say anything, no, he was not the guy killed in uh, Ray's flashback. That was a different, that was not him. I, they, they, they said that. This is, this is not that guy. This guy was in the movie in Jakku, and he helped Ray fight off the thugs. Uh, when they were trying to steal BB-8, I think is what it was, but they took him out to make Ray look a little stronger so she can handle herself, which I like, uh, which means that he's number two on the list because he's not really in the movie, and that's why he's here. Sucks. Sorry, dude. So that's most of the list. We're almost done. All I have to do now is reveal the final figure. Number one, what's the worst? What do you think is the worst? I'll tell you what's the worst. Emperor Palpatine. This is the worst figure release so far, and there's so many reasons for it. He was 
the biggest disappointment I've ever had with a figure. Let's just start. He looks fine. I'm not a huge fan of cloth capes, but this is the one figure. I wish there was more cloth on him. His robe is cloth. That's fine. It looks okay. It's not too big, although it is a little big, but his skirt here is plastic. He should have been, I would have been okay if he was a $40 figure like Jabba the Hutt, and he came with a, a throne to sit in um, and a skirt that allowed him to sit down. But as it is, even if I want to make my own throne right now, this skirt doesn't allow it. I know there are a couple mods you can watch online where people have cut this away and replaced it with a fabric skirt. I think there's even pre-made fabric skirts that people make for this guy. But the fact that you have to do that is kind of dumb. The second thing that's dumb about him is he comes with one accessory, this cane. I could think of at least 10 accessories I would rather have this guy have come with. He needs to come with an alternate head. He should have come with alternate hands. He should have come with a lightsaber or two lightsabers if you want to do Clone Wars. And the accessory that he does come with is too short. It doesn't reach the bottom. It doesn't, it's like, it's like a, a centimeter off from touching the ground if you have it in his hand. So it doesn't even do what a cane is supposed to do and help him walk. He's literally just holding it. He should have come with lightning clip-ons or hands with lightning on them. I don't know. Like, there's just so many things this guy could have come with. He could have come with a lightsaber to help fight Yoda, who comes with a lightsaber. But he doesn't come with shit. He comes with a cane that doesn't even work as a cane. And he was 20 bucks, And I feel like he just, he's got, he's got some balls on him to demand $20 from himself when he just comes with a stupid stick. And that's it. So he's number one. He's the worst. I have him to sit next to Darth Vader with the rest of my Imperial figures because you got to have an Emperor Palpatine, but he's standing instead of sitting like he should be, being all powerful, saying, I don't have to stand for you because I'm the Emperor. Nope. He's just going to stand there with a stick that doesn't touch the ground and look like an old guy. And that's it. I hate him. He's... The only figure in my collection that I actively hate. All the others, I'm like, yeah, they could be better. I hate that figure. And and it sucks because we should have gotten a better Palpatine. Maybe they'll do a better Palpatine. I'll buy it. I will. And I'm not going to kid myself. So that's it. That's my ten worst top ten list for the bottom ten figures of the Black Series so far. And again, there could be more figures that come out that could be worse. Who knows? But so far, in my opinion, those are the worst. Tell me what you think. Do I have it way wrong? Did I miss anybody? Is there anyone that came out that you don't like? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, rate, whatever you want to do. Don't do anything. Stop watching halfway through. Uh, if you did, you probably haven't seen this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. And I'll see you guys next time.